I'm about to enter the new secret areas in Pet Simulator 99. Right now I have three secret keys on me so we can go to each and every one. And basically we have a chance at getting some really cool items. And we'll only be visiting each room only once. But if you do enjoy this video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If we hit 4k subs, I'll give away a huge pet. So if you'd like to participate in that, leave your username in the comments below. But enough talk, let's go ahead and go to our first secret area. I think it's over in the Enchanted Forest. And yeah, there it is right here. As we can see, the door is currently locked and there's that galactic key. So basically you just click and it says, unlock the door with your secret key, key will be used. And the wrap is kind of decreasing on this, you know. But we're gonna open this up. This is gonna be my first time in here and it's a crazy deals. Would you believe it? All right, very, very funny, buddy. There's a chance we can get some really bad items or a really good one. So hopefully we can get some really good ones and oh we got lightning charm all right that's great that's one of the new ones and basically we get kicked out let's actually go ahead and check out this lightning charm real quick because i never had one pet randomly shoots lightning at breakables and we can apply those to huges and titanics and it's divine too which is awesome there's also three new charms in this update so maybe we can collect those because in this next mini game we do have a chance at getting one i think it's not way too far away so i'm just gonna ride my hoverboard over there so basically it is over here in area 33 so right where this robber pug is the general store there is another secret area so if we just go ahead and use another secret key yes i do and let's go inside and for this one we have to just choose one again what should i choose though hmm i think i can also get a bad item from this mm. what should i pick though i think i'm going for the left one right here anything cool please and strength charm yes that is great what could i have gotten from the others a fortune flag and old boots we got the best one again so far we're having some actual decent luck i already know what the strength charm does so i don't have to read it but honestly i think the first one was a bit better than the second although you can get like a hundred percent bad items from the first at least it's guaranteed i don't mean it in like a bad way or anything you can just claim a free item i meant i like having to risk it also advanced merchant what's in here all right nothing new i'm just gonna take that and leave but let's go ahead and head over to our final secret area. I'm not going to ride my hoverboard for this one, but it is all the way over in area 58, I think. Let's go over there. Yahoo! And it's inside of this giant fairy tale castle right here. But somehow it's not inside of this castle. I don't know why. Can we actually go inside this castle though? It's still locked. Oh man. I assume that will be coming next update though, so I'm excited. Let's go ahead and go inside of here. Yes, please. Hopefully something cool. And this one is a crystal key wheel. So it's just like the spinning wheel, but it's just all crystal keys. What do we have here though? Let's see. We have upper half and lower half. We also get a regular crystal key. We can get three, 10. And if we're really lucky, we can actually get 50, which costs almost 2 million. And I only get one spin on this. So hopefully we don't get any of the halves. However, I take a 40%. Let's see though. And please, no, no, no. Land on the nine, get on the nine, and bruh, I got a half. It was right there too. I mean, we have to make the most of it. I do have some lower halves on me, so we can just make that into a normal key. See, everybody wins, right? Let's actually use this to end off the video. Go over to the castle, Yahoo! and maybe we can get something good, who knows? To make up for the uh, incident, we'll say. All right, here goes, and anything cool, and we, we made it back. All right, using it again. Anything cool? And we got two legendaries. It's not the best, but I mean, it's not too bad either. So my thoughts on these mini games. First mini game I'd say is kind of worth it, but there's a chance you don't get anything good from it and just end up wasting a key. For a second mini game, however, you can get something decent, but it's not likely you get some like really terrible item, which when I went in, I got a fortune flag in there along with that shrimp charm. I mean, I would have taken a fortune flag. I mean, that's pretty cool. But for the third room, you are more likely to get something good, but you could also get something bad. So I mean, I would suggest the third room since there is more likely a chance you can get something good. But if you have a different opinion, let me hear in the comments below. And yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Huge, huge shout out to my members listed above. And until then, I'm out. Peace.